Hello, hello to all my beautiful subscribers. Welcome back. Save the last, but not least. Save the best for last. We got Sunny Wealth. Okay, y'all. Big money. I like it. I used to have hoes. Who's trifling? Okay. Big money. So a lot of people will be sad and mad because they're about to watch you be dripped and draped out. I'm telling you, all these false people, they're going through changes while you're being blessed. 17 to be significant. Number 17, age, date of birth, phone number, last four digits. Take away resonate. Sevens can be significant to you. So, every sun, moon, rising, and north node, spirit, guys, universe, ancestors, and divine light. Like one card journey. So, this card been coming out a lot lately. Journey, and we have main male at the bottom, wealthy man. Somebody wants to start a family with you. They see you as the privileged lady. You're like the apple of this person's eyes when I'm here. And someone's mom agree with this official person, mature man. I mean, mature, mature woman, excuse me. So this wealthy man might have asked their mom if it's okay if they marry you or ask for your hand in marriage. Somebody is getting married. And this is like the distant horizons. This is like the distant horizons can be in the here and now, like right now. Because there's nothing really holding this person back. Whatever that was could make, like holding this or weighing this person down, it's like foggy down there. And that's why we have journey. Ooh. Some of you guys might be relocated. Or someone could be coming to you to relocate with you. What's this? The mature woman. Yeah, someone mom agrees. Okay? Because this person been cleansing their energy. Yeah, gift came out again. Someone sees you as like very special. Very valuable. So if you was feeling down and out, like feeling like times won't get better, it's definitely about to get great. Okay, it's like a better, it's about to get great. And a lot of people are gonna be sad, wishing they never even did whatever they did to you, the Empress. I'm telling you, a lot of people is about to get ignored, rejected. And it's all because you chose to create the sun card. Yeah. It's good. Great days. Great days up ahead, Aries. I don't know why I can't talk. Baby. And that's your justice. And that's because you chose yourself, my loves. Three, three, three. Because y'all chose yourself. Y'all chose this journey. Y'all chose to walk y'all path. Okay? King of Swords. Who is this King of Swords? The Page of Cups. Somebody wants to talk to you. Could it be an air sign or a masculine that's in his air sign energy? He could have air in his chart. Okay? Your communication can be getting more um, clear, okay? So you're speaking more clearly now, or someone's throat chakra is being cleared up, and they're ready to come uh, talk. Come and talk to me. I really wanna love you. Can I talk to you? I really wanna love you. I've been watching you for a long, long time. So this person been watching you cause you're always on his mind. Mm, 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 mm. Four, 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 I'm on track. Okay, on the right path. I'm telling you with a fortune. This person is like ending toxic cycles and people in places. 
It done dawned on this person. I just sit and having the conversation. Self so say who? Hmm. What do you say? I say who? Hmm. And myself say, what did he say? What Mr. Brown say, y'all? What did he say? He was like, self say, huh? And I say, whom? Hmm, or some shit like that. When he was talking to himself, yeah, justice, things are about to sit down. You're about to get what it is that you want. That you want. It's like, I'm hearing Lil Uzi say, now I do what I want. Now I do what I want. Everybody looking sad. Okay, let's keep going. What's this King of Swords? King of Swords. Whoa. Three of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So after a very harsh breakup, okay, because words was being exchanged for this breakup to occur, this person now wants to offer this Ace of Pentacles to you. Queen of Cups and the Knight of Cups. So this person sees you as the Queen of Cups. Very loving, nurturing. Okay? This person can also see you as someone that's loyal. And they're coming to give you all their love that they've been saving for you. What's this three of swords for you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I tried that nothing for the last time. My heart said, no, no. No, that's supposed to be here. But you came from long and changed my mind. Okay, he said, nobody's supposed to be here. Well, this is what y'all say. Look at this. The angels is all over this. I ain't tried that love thing. So that's probably what y'all was saying. Y'all tried that little thing for the last time. But this person made you change your mind. Or it could be vice versa. Okay? How I'm supposed to carry you. What's this? Uh, three of swords. Because y'all tried it over and over. And y'all just like, you know what? Yeah, the death card. I'm telling you. Y'all is no more in 808 heartbreaks. Y'all over the 808 heartbreaks. Y'all over the pain. Some of you guys just rather be single. Okay? You're enjoying your freedom. And not being tied down. Okay? So whereas though you're having to like trust. Having to like make sure or see if you can trust somebody or not. But Spirit is saying, like, if you don't trust yourself, how can you trust anyone else? Okay? You got to trust yourself. So, if something feels good to you, or that's what your heart is wanting, go after it. What's this death card? What's the death card? Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles. What's this page of pentacles? Somebody was lied to about a child. And that situation ended. What's this page of pentacles? Because it's seven of cups here. What's this page of pentacles? Yeah, the four of swords. So somebody could have been, yeah, then a magician was poking out, y'all. I just pushed it back and y'all see me. And the high priest is in judgment. Yeah, somebody was keeping a secret about a child. Somebody probably made a masculine energy for this though that they were still pregnant. But the whole time they aborted the child. We got the three schools, the deaf, and the four schools. What do that sound like to y'all? Getting the procedure done. To get rid of something with the death card. And this person kept this confusion and these illusions going. That's why the magician was sticking out. You see judgment and the high priestess with the seven of cups. And it's this queen of wands. Baby, this is crazy. What's this seven of cups? 
or this is what this man about to find out. Because he might still be um, in illusions about it. <clears throat> What's this seven of cups? The knight of pentacles. Yeah, this person was dragging it out. And then it's like a king of swords and a queen of wands together. This person is more logical, more in their head. They're, they're like, they make sense out of things. They're more practical is what I heard Spurs say. And the queen of wands is like, they're very attractive, very alluring, and they might seek attention in an unhealthy way. So they might be too revealing. Like they like to show their body. Okay. They like to seduce people and all that there. You get what I'm saying? So it was illusions around this situation anyway, pertaining some lies. But someone wanted to drag it out with the Knight of Pentacles or they wanted to like keep it going. Knowing that the child has already been removed. So this person was recovering the whole time. And that's what this person could be doing right now. Or y'all could be, or somebody could be going through this, recovering from an abortion or something. This is not the first time this person had an abortion. This person had an abortion up to full time. And it's because this person likes to keep their options open. This person is very promiscuous. They can be younger than this masculine, this king of swords, and they're very much childish. They also could have been um, getting, this master also could have been giving them money as well, like financing them. And that's probably why this master wants to cut this person off. Because things are being revealed to this person. Yeah, the will of fortune and it flew on out. This is crazy. This person could have had like abortions up to three to four times. Cause this is not something that this person just this person do this shit on the regular. They got to Knight of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. What's this Will of Fortune? What's the Will of Fortune? I'm telling you, Eight of Cups and the Ten of Cups. Somebody is leaving that shit behind and going towards their Ten of Cups. Mm -mm. What's this Ace of Pentacles? <laughs> What's this Ace? Justice. 13, 13. Is this on the plot as I looked up? What's this Ace of Pentacles? What's this Ace of Pentacles? The King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, this masculine is coming towards you. Because they're seeing the truth about this person that they was with. They lied about a pregnancy. And they kept this shit going for a long time, or they could have lied about a child. But somebody definitely had a procedure done. Because they was recoup, they was um recovering with the four swords, three swords. And this, is, this definitely was a karmic cycle. And this person is walking away, eight of cups, or they're going to. Or y'all could have walked away and y'all start focusing on y'all ten of cups, y'all happiness. Taking better care of yourself, your health, who you are, your whole well-being. But this king of pentacles wants justice. This person is seeing things a lot clearer. A lot clearly. I'm hearing somebody say, how can I fall for this shit? Because this person was putting some spells on you. Now, this could be going on right now. This is just beyond me. What's this King of Pentacles for?
Bandicats. Yep. This person is going after what they want. And they're standing up for with the king of swords. Speaking their truth, being honest. So it definitely was a painful ending. I heard Spirit Six, the Three of Swords, and the Death card. Queen of Cups, you keep coming out. You this person's Queen of Cups. This person sees you as the Queen of Cups. What's this Nine of Cups? Page of Swords and a Nine of Wands. So we got two nines out here. So this person is going through a completion. Because when nines come out, it's a completion. It's definitely an ending. So this person is just learned. This person is knocking cycles out the pot. What the heck? Five, five, five. I'm telling you. This person is knocking shit out. Closing cycles left and right. Mm-mm. So this person had like friends around them that was uh, enemies. This person is done with that. If this person had family members that was around them that was enemies. This person done with that. The last thing is to figure out about a child or some shit like that. And yeah, this person sees you as their high priestess, queen of swords, high priestess. So this person comes towards you to see clarity too. He, this person also could have like got another reading from another reader okay and they could have told this person that this is what's going on but this person wanted to like see clarity for, like see clarity for themselves or you could have been a reader that already predicted this and said that this was going on and this person just wanted to see things for themselves so this is like seeing this believing type shit this is how this master operates he got to see it to believe it that's how you know this person got a hard ass head and a soft ass. Because when you one of those people that got see it to believe it, you know you hard headed and shit. You know you stern in your ways. And like you just like, yeah, I hear you. I just got to see it. I want to see it for myself. And you can tell me this, then the third. I just want to see it. Like this person here is funny. The star car in yeah, there healing. The star and the devil. Mm -mm -mm. This person is healing from all the toxic relationships, connections that they have put themselves in. Yeah, it's painful because this person wasn't ready to let these people go. This person wasn't ready to surrender. Now they're surrendering. Because if they don't, they're going to continue to get karma right along with these people. Ex lovers, friends, family members, whoever. But this person is protecting themselves now. I'm telling you, protecting their energy. They're getting guidance. They're protecting their energy, y'all. This this masculine is standing in their morals now. King of Pentacles. This masculine also is standing in their integrity. Okay, 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 shorty love. Because this person's heart chakra already got opened up. So this person already was aware of how they felt for you, what they felt for you, and what they wanted. Now, the next lesson this person had to learn, which I told y'all, was when it comes to friends and family members or who they affiliate they so with on an everyday basis. And this is what this person is closing out. We got 99 nine right here, two nines. 99 could be significant. That's like self-mastery because the nine of cups is basically yourself. This is your self-worth, your self-core, your core values, point blank period. Okay? King of Pentacles, nine of cups. And these are your experiences you endured. Everything you endured with these wands. Trials and tribulations. Okay? And this masculine is getting it under control. This masculine is becoming more disciplined is what Spirit is saying with this King of Pentacles. So this person has more discipline. Kudos to this masculine. Make you just want to go. You know how they be at the little uh, poetry slams? You be like, touche. I'm telling you, this person was doing the work. 
So it was necessary for this cutoff, Aries, from this person. Because they seeing things a lot clearer now with this King of Swords. This masculine could have tapped into their feminine energy. Because this masculine knew they was too much in their uh, masculine energy. So they had to like balance it out. Now this masculine in their feminine energy. Okay? Making shit make sense. This is beautiful, y'all. What's this? Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles. Nine of Wands, Nine of Cups, King of Pentacles. Well, Page of Wands, good news. So this person, man, this person is not going to look the same. They're not. Like, their whole appearance is changing. Nine of Cups and the King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, their whole appearance, who they were when you seen them. I think I said this in another sign reading, too. Their appearance is definitely changing. So this person was looking rough, beat up, scruffy, or this person could have been decent, but it's like now it's getting better. This person is actually taking the time to um, like take care of their self. Do what makes them feel good, what makes them happy. This person is in a more happier space than when you last seen this person, talk to this person, or heard from this person. So for somebody here, you had to walk away from this person and focus on your happiness with the Ten of Cups to balance out the scales. Because when you and this person was around each other, this person was at the King of Swords. Very nonchalant, very cold, very closed off and distance. Because this person was going through a painful ending after getting the truth and clarity with the King of Swords about somebody that they was with that said that they had a child but they already aborted the child or had a miscarriage or they was never pregnant, okay? Point blank period. And this was being dragged out. Knight of Pentacles. So I guess every time this masculine would add ask about the child or ask how many months this person was. They never knew the answer. Seven of Cups. Like, I don't know. This is some weird ass shit y'all got going on. Like, it was just weird to this masculine. So this masculine probably started to do their homework and start like putting two, to two, to, putting two and two together on their own. And now they're, they're actually in a better state of mind or energy. They're able to provide and take care of themselves. And that's why this person is wanting to present you with the Ace of Pentacles. Because they know that you are their Empress. And I got that channel in two yesterday, y'all. When I was hearing my guide say, look, and it's the Queen of Cups. When I was hearing my guide say that when you're on your Twin Flame journey, and you know how us, when we first started on 2323 as Divine Feminists, we got to get into our Divine Masculine Energy and our masculines have to swamp rules with us and get in their feminine energy. That's the only way you're going to be into union with your twin. Because y'all both have to learn both lessons of your mom and your dad. So that way when y'all do come together, it will actually be everything you ever wanted, desired. Like everything will be in the two of y'all. It won't be looking forward in other people. Y'all will already have it within yourself and that way y'all can freely give to each other equally. So the relationship can stay healthy and it can stay balanced. That's the whole point. So your masculine had to tap into the feminine energy. You had to tap into your masculine energy. Okay, Aries? Or switch roles. Take it wherever it's me. Because that's the only way you're going to come together with your twin. It's not all about you. Oh, you just being a divine feminine and you're going to stay in divine feminine. No, you have to be, you have to know how to balance out your own energies as well. Your masculine and feminine. So when this person do come into you, you will know when to be in your feminine energy and when to be in your masculine energy. Because y'all both is going to have to like, it's like, um, I don't know why I just did that. So somebody Kundalini could be rising. Could have a Kundalini rising. A rising, uh, you get what I'm saying? Sheesh. Okay, let me slow down, y'all. <laughs> so what I was saying was... Uh, See, now I lost my train of thought. Because when I be too silly, y'all, I start to be having, like, little brain farts. But that's just me. I'm just overall just silly. Okay? But as I was saying, like, 
it's like the infinity sign. That's how that is, like the yin and yang. So if this masculine is balanced, feminine and masculine in them, then you're going to be balanced, feminine and masculine. That's the only way you're going to get a healthy relationship, a healthy connection, or a healthy lifestyle by being balanced. This is beautiful, y'all. Yeah, look, the queen, this person has a, like, this person held you in high regards. Like, this person has a lot of respect for you. Like, a lot. If they see you as the her font and the queen of cups. I'm here when the student is ready, the teacher will appear. The teacher will arrive. You actually could have saved this masculine's life as well. Because they wasn't, whatever they was doing, they wasn't seeing clearly. They wasn't thinking straight. So this person probably didn't even like fully understand what spirituality was. This person knew that they were spiritual. They had some sense and inkling that they were spiritual. But they never knew that it's like way deeper than just being around energies. You get what I'm saying? Like this person is like seeing things clearer now. I can't explain it. It's like the only way you will know is like if you seen this person and you like really got into that moment to where y'all actually sat down and understood one another. Like y'all had an actual communication. It wasn't just about, oh, you met your twin and y'all had moments of having sex. No. When you meet your real twin, it start off communication, like sapiosexual. Like you start off communicating with this person to get a clear understanding. It's like, because one of us is sleep. One of us knows they're aware and they understand what it is, but they're still sleep. And then you came along and you woke this person up. Which actually saved them with the her phone because it gave them another chance at life to change their life around for the better and to get connected i'm telling you i'm telling you now this person is like knowing how karma works what to do what not to do okay this person is like uh-uh that shit is real. And it's because of you. That's why the Empress came out first. You is what helped this man or helped this woman see what was going on and what was happening in their own life. For them to change it. For them to put a stop to it. For them to end it. Yeah, you was there as a guide with the hair font. You was just receiving and get, you was just giving messages and telling this person. Some of you guys are like practitioners, okay? spiritualist you was just giving the gems and this person just was applying it to their life step by step step by step i'm telling you they was just applying it to their life it's not like this person was taking what you were saying and was just like yeah whatever i'm gonna still continue to do what i need what i want to do yeah because they knew that they couldn't because this person can have a, a higher calling as well that they got to step into you hear the horns, this beat? So uh, this person, karma, was just going to be severe. And like, it's, it was just going to be terrible. Five of wands, I'm telling you. So it was like a, a eye opener for this person with the page of wands. I'm telling you. Because if this person would have kept playing around and not taking it seriously... Oh, the karma would have just got hectic. Okay, this person could have went through a, a life or death situation and all that already, like a near-death experience. Like, this person here, they like, oh, I got to get my shit together. I got to stop fucking playing around. Like, I ain't getting any young. I'm getting any older. Yeah, because as the older you get and you get into that sign of return, whatever sign is in your sign of return, that's what you got to pay attention at. Because some of us, we already operate in karma. We already, we give the karma. We are the karma. So when people come across us or come past us and they want to be on fuck shit, 
Oh, then expect the fuck shit to go right back to Cinder. That's why people really got to be mindful of who the fuck they be fucking over and fucking with. But sometimes God will blind the eyes of those that's not ready to see. And that way, when they do be in your path or in your presence or in your energy, they can just do all this goofy shit that they've been doing for years that the universe been waiting to tax that ass. Taxation time. Pay up. Because it's time to pay the piper. But all these motherfuckers that just been out here on some foo foo shit. Just thinking they can just do and get away with anything. And not and not deserve reper, repercussions or consequences. Like it's consequences and repercussions to everything. We not about to be doing all this foo foo shit. That's why I said sometimes we been there, and done that. That's why you supposed to do all this shit at a youthful age, at a certain age. There's a certain. That's why you gotta know your chart. You gotta study your chart. Cause at a certain fucking age, it's not time to be playing games no more. And I've been like this since I was even in my teens. I already knew what the fuck was going on, what was up, and all that. That's why I took the time to play around in my teen ages to go out and party, chill, hang out, and just be in the fucking way. No. And then by me having kids is what actually gave me a more eye openness to be like, now you can't keep playing around because you got kids now. And it's like, if God didn't want to bless me with kids. Now, with some people that just had kids and they still don't give a fuck because they don't want the best for their life or they don't want the best for their kids. But I'd be damned if my kids go through the same shit I even experienced and went through the struggle, the hard time, living from post to uh, couch to post or whatever the fuck they want to call it. Like, this shit is real. And that's because that's the decisions that we chose to make as we was going through life and was growing up and learning and evolving, okay, to understand who we are more as a person and let alone ourselves. You get what I'm saying? So having these experiences is because we chose to do it, to get a more understanding once again of who we are as in ourselves we're not doing it because other people is telling us to or making us do it no it's these are actions that we chose to take as people to do that shit for ourselves can nobody make you do shit now if a person can make you do that then maybe you deserve to be under mind control maybe you deserve to be controlled like a fucking puppet that you are i mean hey what the fuck want me to sugarcoat the shit i will no Maybe you deserve a master or somebody that's going to like, I can't even talk. That's how you know I don't even want to say that shit. That shit make me just want to like throw up. It just sounds like I was about to fucking throw up. That's how I say, why would you want to be controlled? Especially by unknown forces you don't even fucking know nothing about. That these people be sitting up here conjuring and playing, playing with and shit. The fuck? With all you gotta do is get connected so that way you can have protection. And that way, whatever forces or entities they're calling upon you will be the ones that'll be taken over and ruled upon them. Because you know what? You got to say so now. You're sitting in the seat. You're ordained. You have enough authority over these people that's trying to cause the same shit upon you. I mean, come on now. It's like get with the winning team. The fuck? They a bunch of losers. That's why they're going through so much death and destruction, heartache and pain and loss, misery, sadness, and all that. Like, some of these people, they deserve it. They really do. Because some of these people, they didn't, give a, they didn't give a fuck about you when you was going through it. But the only thing is, you chose to survive with the nine of wands. You didn't give up on yourself with the nine of cups. The hell? These people would give up real quick. Because they know it'll be lights out, nighty night. Because they wouldn't know how to handle that shit. That's why all their ass is in the five ones now. They still don't know how to handle it. All these people, places, and things, these karmics or whatever they want to be called, okay, that want to stay in the same low vibrational energy and don't want to rise up, that's on them, okay? They're going to be the ones that's going through this five of one conflict, chaos, competition all fucking day long, jealousy, hate, envy. Heartbroken, sad, one in mercy and all that. Like, no. It ain't bargaining like that. All right, let's get to romance, Angel. Because mm -mm. God fucking with you. Look, you, you came out with him. He fucking with you the long way. The long way. The long and strong way. Okay? This is not for play play. I don't know why the fuck everybody be thinking life be a joke. Like, it's a time to play, and it's a time not to play. Yeah, we can live young, wild, and free. My ear on fire. 
we can live young, wild, and free, but it's like, where are you deserving to just be out here freely doing what the fuck you want to do? If you ain't do the work, you don't need to be freely doing shit. I'm just saying. Okay? We got very soon. Clearly decide what it is that you want so it can come to you. I'm telling you, very soon this person is... I'm on the way. Okay? These masculines getting their shit together. They finally waking the fuck up. Yeah, after the universe done slapped their ass 50 million times. We got... Free yourself. I'm telling you this masculine friend they said. When the cage bird sings, when the cage bird sings is what I hear. We got, it is safe for you to love this person. Wedding, this person wants to get married. There's a lot of chemistry, okay? This person has learned lessons from you and everybody else that they dealt with. And they're ready to venture out and take a new approach to the situation. They could want to travel with you, okay? Take you out of the country, the city, the state, or whatever. They want to just retreat, Okay? So it's going to be you and this masculine against the world. That's what I heard. And this could be the one. Make sure you guys do not turn a blind eye to deceptive people, places, and things. Because you're going to have people that's going to try to come in and block y'all. But I'm telling you, I just heard it's you and this masculine against the world now. Okay? So like, share, comment, as well as subscribe. Every reason hit that bell. Noti. Peace.